important field goal against Fresno State at the end of the first half. Not quite as important as that one, but that lead now just six points. That field goal was huge. You see Robinson trying to get up high. He's their designated field goal blocker. Blocked one this year, but not that one as Danello got it high and far. Not only three points helps, it helps your dignity. Because <laughs> they've been hammered the last 10 minutes. And remember, Texas won the toss deferred, so that means they'll get the ball to start the second half, but they have three timeouts. I don't think they can do much with just two seconds to go, but I'd never count out number 10. I won't be surprised, but what Bench Young takes the football team on his back, though, when we come to the second half. I think he's been a little quieter. He's, he's, he's been terrific. The numbers are great, but he can do more. And he's willing to do more, no question. But here's the kickoff by Van Blockham. He knocks it along the ground, and it accepted by the receiver back on his knees, and there can be no return. But because he got it on his knees, it just took one second off the clock. And we're going to have to have one more play. Boy, knees have been the key, haven't they? Vince Young's <laughs> knee down, not called, touchdown Texas. And now, at the end of the half, the knees uh, will have one more knee, perhaps, from Young. Well, that's uh, it's like Drew Kelsey, Kelsey going off, yeah. Yeah. I really thought that uh, Matt Leinert might have taken a wallop about midway in that second quarter that threw him off balance and then he got another one late in the quarter. And it looks to me like they're just going to take a knee and go to the clubhouse. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So at halftime it is Texas 16 and USC 10 time for our Nokia player comparison. Take a look at the two quarterbacks you can see Vince Young. Only two incompletions in that first half. Matt Leinart struggling of late. Here's Todd. Pete, what do you need to fix at halftime? Well, we, we, we gave a couple opportunities away to him, you know, and then we just have to do a much better job of that. We don't normally do those kinds of things. I don't know why Reg flipped that ball back. You know, we were in pretty good shape right there. Uh, that, that's the first thing. We got to slow him down. They had a little momentum going with the no huddle thing. We got to slow that thing down. Your quarterback, Matt Leinart, how is he? He's okay. He's okay. He got rocked a little bit, but he's all right. We'll see you in the second half. Holly? I'm here with Matt Brown. Coach, in that midway point through the first half, your team seemed to pick up some momentum. What happened to get that momentum? Oh, Holly, it's a, a great ball game between two great football teams, and I think ours were trying a little too hard. And we really stunk the first part of it. We've settled down now. And what a ball game! Should what, be a great second half. What stunk? Well, we fumbled the ball twice, and, and then we laid it on the ground another time when we're going in to score. And uh, we had an opportunity or two on defense we didn't make. But it's a great football team, and we've got to protect the ball better the second half. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you. Keep. Stay tuned for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Show after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Sixteen to ten lead the University of Texas Longhorns over the University of Southern California as we get ready for the second half of play and let's talk about tweaking things with Dan Fouts. Well offensively yes he's got to get Bush and Jarrett Moore involved and then on defense pressure and then tackle Vince Young Texas offensively hang on to the ball quit giving it back to the Trojans and then defensively stay the course you're doing just fine you're allowing SC just 10 points holding out a pretty good offense. Trojans have got to crank up the throttle a little bit. <laughs> well they've got to quit making mistakes and as we talked about Bush is such a difference maker he's not on his game so far that if that lateral in the first half was just a critical mistake something that I'm sure that he would like to have back and we haven't seen the best of Vince Young either. Well he, not too bad though Vince Young is uh, leading rusher in the game but you always expect a little bit more out of him. The big question for SC is the health of Matt Leiner took a lot of big shots in that first half. That missed extra point. They oftentimes echo. Don't they? Well it came on a touchdown that should not have been a touchdown too. Right. So uh, that one a six point lead here at the half and it's just that one extra points the difference. So the Rose Bowl holding up to the expectations but 
in effect it's the defense that's setting the tone of the game so far. Texas showed signs of grabbing it by the horns literally if you'll pardon the pun in uh, the last 10 minutes of that first half when they exploded for 16 unanswered points. Troy Van Buckham will kick off now as the Horns won the toss so initially and elected to start with the ball in the second half. That's a good kick. It goes two yards deep in the end zone to Ramon Taylor. Taylor coming to the outside. The Trojans went for the middle of the field and bingo he broke it to the outside and there's a penalty flag up on the 33 yard line. Josh Pinkard uh, made that tackle. And that penalty flag was thrown against Texas on the other side of the field had nothing to do with that fine return by Ramon Taylor. During the return holding number 21 on the returning team 10 yards from the end of the run first down that hurts him because it was on the 29 then yeah. well time for our city game summary. Pretty balanced for Texas 121 yards rushing 113 passing SC's two turnovers led to nine Texas points but SC and those both happened deep in Texas territory liners been down three times young not a still clean Richard keeps it started a little option motion throws a couple of defenders and turned it upfield and got three yards. Darnell Bing finally brought him down. Uh, he probably got more than three, Keith, as he was contacted there, but just continues to overpower the Trojan tacklers. Second down and six. Keeps it. Got away from the pressure throws to the sidelines. There was enough pressure though to make him move and he threw the ball wide of his intended receiver Lima Swede. It was defended by John Walker. That really is the best uh, pressure we've seen from the Trojans front four all night. And that's directly responsible for that ball being incomplete because he did have to move. And had a small margin for error on that sideline. Just beginning the second half of play. Game hasn't exactly followed form, but it's beginning to turn that way. As the principal performers are beginning to step up, and in particular Vince Young. On third down, down the sidelines, too long. Swede running down the sidelines with defense by John Walker. That's a great start to the second half for the Trojan defense. As they force uh, Young two incompletions in the first half, he only had two incompletions. Well, we've seen Pete Carroll work some miracles uh, in the second half of play all along the last two seasons. We'll see if he can do it against the powerhouse here in Texas. Reggie Bush is waiting for Richmond McGee's punt. Reggie's back about the 38 yard line. High kick. Reggie comes up, waves for a catch, and a penalty flag thrown. And it might very well be against the Trojans. Yeah, it's going to be against Darnell Bing. He blocked a Texas gunner in the back. So that great field position at midfield, still going to be pretty good, but not as good at, because of the block in the back by Bing. Well, they've been off a month, both teams. Never as sharp as you were when you ended the regular season. A long wait. We talked about how Matt Leonard got uh, bounced around quite a bit in that first half. We're going to see two of his three sacks. Frank Ocam gets him there. And a couple of guys. Watch this shot, though. This is the one of major concern, though. Aaron Harris came in there and rattled his cage. So the Trojans take over at the 38 yard line for their first possession of the second half. And they come out with Reggie Bush as the deep back. Leonard turns to this side, throws the ball quickly. Jarrett receives it and picks up about six yards. Killebrew brought him down. Now 
There's Bob line it right there. But that's dead. Proud of his boy. Well, he should be. Good guy. Good boy. Yeah, he bet. <laughs> 13 34 to go. Second down, four for Ginsburg. And there, White crying gets one of the four. Aaron Harris and Terrell Brown doubled up for the tackle for Texas. The temperature here in Pasadena here for the second half of play is going to be in the mid 50s to the low 50s. It'll go down. Gets pretty cold here in the Arroyo Seco. Colder down here than it is up on the hill. Third down and a long two, more like three. Dominique Bird's been quiet tonight. And the human motion there. Line it straight back, gets it away, gets his first down as he throws to Brandon Hadcock, the fullback, out of the backfield and move your chance. We saw David Kirkman make a big play, the starting fullback on that touchdown drive for the Trojans. Now Brandon Hancock, the backup fullback. Just seems like uh, when you have stars like Bird and Steve Smith and Dwayne Jarrett, and Bush and White, that the uh, defenses say, hey, you can throw it to the fullbacks all night long. We're not all that worried about them. Liner found Hancock for a key first down. Four man front for Texas. Ball goes. Liner dropping back. Throws down the middle. Jarrett's got it. And Dwayne Jarrett will take it down to about the 22 yard line before Terrell Brown can ride him down. And that'll get a high five from Daddy. His liner enjoying the pass protection. And Jarrett running a sharp route. After the play fake. And it's a good one to Glendale White. Look at the pass protection. Again, when Leonard can step into the throw, as most quarterbacks, he's going to be very accurate. This is a perfect toss. Garrett caught 81 during the regular season coming into this game and had 15 touchdowns. That's a lot. Ball is at the 22 of Texas. Leonard up quickly, throws the ball. He comes this way again to Jarrett. Garrett will work his way to the 17 before he's wrestled down by Brown and Huff. Well, Brown's playing well tonight. He's been around a lot of tackles. And he's been able to fend off the blocking of the wide receivers. That time Steve Smith was out in front, and Brown just uh, ignored him, came up and made the tackle. Brown comes from Mesquite. Hot running right along. We've burned up almost. Four minutes of this third quarter. Now a six man front. You better hurry up. They're going to get the clock. We burned it. That's the second time in the ball game. What did they call timeout? They got timeout on it. So effectively, that's almost a wasted timeout. But he wanted to change his play, and Texas went into a seven man front, and they had to spend the timeout. In the 2004 Rose Bowl, USC and Michigan, watch this. Matt Leinert catches a touchdown pass on this play as Mike Williams delivered it, left-handed also. And they went on to win the AP National Championship 28-14, beating the Wolverines. That game was a real coming-out party for Matt Leinert, too. It was right at the same part of the field, too, where they executed that play perfectly. Right now they're looking at second down and five. The ball is on the Texas 17 yard line. They're trailing by six points. The ball is handed off to Lindale White. He shakes off Kretler Rutter, goes for the corner of the end zone, and finally got him. Michael Griffith got down around his feet and got him down just inside the five yard line. Now he just straight armed Michael Huff to the turf. Watch the strength of the right hand of Lendell White. Watch seven come up here. That's Huff right there. Down Huff goes. And White almost gets into the end zone. Griffin with a solid tackle. Of course, uh, the biggest guessing game in town is whether or not Lendell White will come up and go to the draft. 